What's up, guys? It's the Ninja Nerd here. Today, I'm here to talk about Dragon Ball Z. Akira Toriyama has explained why Kale, Cauliflower, and and Kava are able to go Super Saiyan so fast. Akira Tor Toriyama recently did an interview, and he said he's asked the question: Can anyone become a Super Saiyan as long as they train? Then he says, not everyone can become a Super Saiyan even if they use anger and training. To become a Super Saiyan, C cells, S cells in their body are required. When these S cells reach a certain amount, one can use anger as a trigger to increase the S cells in their body and transform into a Super Saiyan. Although almost every Saiyan have S cells in their body, most just don't have enough. The reason Goten and Trunks were able to transform into a Super Saiyan relatively easy is because they've inherited enough S cells from their fathers. Also, the environment of planet Earth, which is calmer than planet Vegeta, helped them. Uh, uh, he's, he then says, how to increase these S cells, which are important to gain the Super Saiyan transformation. Having a gentle heart is the best way to increase S cells in one's body, but most Saiyans are not good at that. That's why it's most Saiyans were not able to achieve the necessary S cells, resulting in Super Saiyans not appearing for a long time, becoming a lost legend. Furthermore, they also need to achieve a certain amount of power level for the transformation. With all things considered, you can see why Goku was able to transform into a Super Saiyan. Now, you can see that this, this whole thing about him explaining what Super Saiyan is, is a form of damage control because a lot of people have been complaining that about Kale, Cauliflower, and Kava are able to transform into, even go to the trunks. Not as hard, but even them. Like how are they able to transform into Super Saiyan so easily? And uh, he basically says that because of these S cells, <coughs> they because they are able to because they have so many uh, these S cells in their body that they able to transform into Super Saiyan easier. Now, and because Earth's environment is less harsh than Planet Vegeta, they're able to grow these S cells, S cells in front of, more faster than on Planet Vegeta when the sands were under the freezer's control and the, the environment there is just a lot harsher than Earth, so they were able to transform into a Super Saiyan. I never really hated the fact that Kale, Cauliflower, and Kale were able to go Super Saiyan, so it didn't, it didn't really bother me, but. It, uh, it's, a lot of people are bothered that they were able to go Super Saiyan like that. For me, it didn't, but I know for a lot of people it did. I, I just it just never really bothered me, but a lot of people it did. And but I think this explanation is kind of I don't know, it just seems weird. Like it seems a lot, well, at least similar to Metaclorians from Star Wars. Now, for those who don't know what Metaclorians is, it basically when George Lucas he did the prequels he basically introduced the idea of metachlorians a lot of people hated it hated this I didn't hate it I just like I, I was never really I didn't hate it but at the same time I was just like really but but basically metachlorians is like basically how it kind of determines how powerful you are you in the forest so that's essentially what metachlorians are so but yeah let me know what you guys think about this this new news let me know in the comments in the section below what you guys think like comment share this video and subscribe peace Spider -Man.